Let's graph the linear equation for y equals 4x minus 5. And we're going to do this two ways. We'll use a table of values, and then we'll check our work with slope-intercept formula. So the first thing we can do is we can put points in for x for y equals 4x minus 5. We'll get a value for y. We can graph those points, and that'll give us the line y equals 4x minus 5. Let's start with x is 0, because 4 times 0, that's just 0. That gives us y equals minus 5. We can choose any points for x, and that'll give us a value for y when we graph that point. It'll be on the line, but we want it to fit on our graph paper here. So why don't we choose 1 for x? If we have 4 times 1, that's 4. 4 minus 5, that gives us a negative 1. Last point, let's do 2, because 4 times 2 is 8. 8 minus 5 is 3. And these are the points that we'll graph for the linear equation y equals 4x minus 5. Our first point is 0 and then y is negative 5. So we go to x is 0 down here, y is negative 5. And we have x is 1 and y is negative 1. We could stop there and draw our line, but it's helpful to have a third point in case you've made an error up here. So we have x is 2, y is 3, and there we go. That's our line. Let's put a line through that. We put arrows to show that this goes to infinity, and that's the line for y equals 4x minus 5. Let's check our work with slope-intercept formula. So we have y equals mx plus b. b is the y-intercept, and that's negative 5. So the line will cross the y-axis at negative 5, right there. That makes sense. Then for the slope m, that's 4. But it's helpful to think about this as 4 over 1, because now we can say rise over run. So we'll go to that y-intercept. We'll go up 4, rise 1, 2, 3, 4 and go over 1. From there, we can do it again. Up 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1. Do it one more time. 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1. And there's our line. So we did the first part correctly. This is the graph for y equals 4x minus 5. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.